Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Hi there. Good hello. morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? How are hello. you? Welcome to the class, everyone. How do you feel? Great. How about you? I'm great too. I'm happy to see you here, everyone. Welcome to the class. Thank you. All right, all right. Let's see, everyone. There are some people who didn't have the exam yesterday. So for the ones who didn't pass yesterday, are you ready to take the exam today? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent, that's the attitude. So we're Thank going you. to continue. Hello, Emerson, welcome to the class. We're going to continue everyone taking a, the speaking evaluations for the one who hasn't taken, okay? Um, few people is missing, I think. And after the speaking evaluation, we are going to continue with the class, okay? So, um, one of your classmates said that she needs to be the first one. It's all right. So Marjorie, me, me yes, teacher. You will be the first. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And we are going to pick your classmates. So everybody, please remember during the speaking evaluation, don't interrupt your classmates. Okay. And keep your microphones off. Now, with the ones that are going to pass today, remember that I'm going to be a little bit more exigent. So be careful with the questions, give time to your classmate to speak, to provide an answer and try to give details. Now, uh, welcome everybody, welcome to the class. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm great, thanks for asking. Okay, I'm going to say some names and confirm please that you are the ones who hasn't uh, taken the exam. Elisa Lucia is here? Yes. You didn't yes. take the exam, right? I didn't. Okay. Alvaro Javier is here? Okay. Um, Alba Marisol? Is Alba here? No? Okay. Rebecca Isabel? You didn't take the exam, didn't. right? No, I didn't. Okay, very good. Uh, Cristina? Cristina Veralice, did you take yes, the exam? No, I didn't. No. Okay, perfect. Marjorie, you didn't take it. Javier Ernesto, did you take the exam? No, right? Javier is here? Okay. Emerson, you didn't, right? Yes, teacher. Didn't. Okay. Marvin Alexander, you didn't take the exam, right? I'm just confirming guys, because only the people that I have in the list, only that people I'm going to evaluate, okay? This is the last day. So if you don't pass today, you won't pass ever again. Irene, is Irene here? No? Um, Rebecca Esther, you didn't take the exam, right? Yes, teacher. I, All right. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. All right. And Karen Vasquez, did you take the exam, Karen? No? Okay. Let's start then. Uh, Marjorie will be the first one. Marjorie, just let me see who is going to be your classmate. Okay. Can you see the box? Yes. Yes, okay, so the first person will be Javier Ernesto. Javier, are you there? Hello, is Javier Ernesto there? Nope. Mm, okay. Rebecca. Are you there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Just let me write your name, girls. So we got Marjorie and we have Rebecca. Okay, give me one second. 
remember, you will have, again, five minutes. Ask your questions, talk to your classmate, try to follow the flow of the conversation. Girls, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? Hi, Marjorie, I'm fine, you? I'm fine too, that's great. Uh, what are um, you doing? I'm in the beauty salon. Oh, it's yes. great. Yes. And tell me, what's your favorite movie? I I have two favorite movies. Uh, the first is The Lion King. The second one is uh, The Man of Steel. Ah, okay. That's great. The Lion movie, I didn't watch. I didn't watch. But... <gasps> Oh yes. my goodness. <laughs> and um what is your favorite movie? Well, my favorite movie is Barbie. I love Barbie. And the special Barbie Princess School is um it's about a, a school of princes and a young waitress, she always wanted to to pass to the princess pool and I love that movie. When I was a child, I always watched that movie. I remember that. I, yeah. I like to, yes. Oh. yes. It's, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful, uh, re remember for me. It's, it's a great it's a great time when I was a child and so tell me uh, what is your favorite favorite general music well my favorite genre of music it can be pop and hip-hop I think and in special I love your genius spirit I think because the, you can dance with her songs, you can do exercise, and then you? Mm, Britney Spears for me is, is a good singer, but uh, I prefer um, Katy Perry yeah. and about his heart. I like to listen, um, Eminem or the Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yes. I love them too. Yes. And what is your favorite favorite music? My favorite music can be hip hop. Or favorite song. Oh, my favorite song. Uh -huh. uh, Dark Red by Steve Lacey. Yeah, that song uh, is very famous on TikTok. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. Um, for me, my favorite song, um, the Eminem is uh, my name is what? My name is. Uh, my name is, yes. <laughs> yes. When I was a shy, I repeat all the time. My name yeah. is what? <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. And what's your yes. favorite book? My favorite book? Mm. Food, yes. Food? Yes, food. Ah, food. Mm. Um, I have a lot of favorite food, yes. Uh, my favorite food is hamburger. And I and also my favorite drink is soda. Oh, yeah, me too. And you? <laughs> well, I love pupusas too, but I eat pupusas now and then. And... 
my favorite drink is horchata forever. Mm, it's great, but in my case, I don't like horchata. Do you like the cebada? Cebada? Oh, no, no, no. It's like a, it's like a horchata because the the liquid is is rarity for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Time's up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, girls. Very thank good. You. All right. Interesting conversation. I see that you don't have like a lot of things in common. But even though you have a conversation, that's great. And Rebecca, I can't believe it that you don't like horchata. You are Salvadoran and you don't like horchata. <laughs> uh, no, I, I feel dirty, dirty. Dirty, uh huh. Uh, es, no sé cómo decir, que siento como, como el polvito. Ah, like the dust, <laughs> like a dust. Uh -huh. it, 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 like a cebada is the same. Yeah, they are pretty the same. Okay, so pointless because of that. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Next people to pass will be, let me open up the box. Can you see the box, everyone? Yes. yes. Sir. Okay, the next person is... Emerson, are you ready, Emerson? Yes, sir. Well, Excellent. Okay, your classmates will be Felix. Felix, are you there? Felix, no? Okay. Christina, are you there? Yes? Yes, it's excellent. Very good. Okay, guys, just let me write your names. Give me one second. So we got Christina. And we have Emerson. Okay. Remember, today is the last day to present the speaking evaluation. Okay, guys, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, how are you? Uh, hello, Christina. Uh, no bad, I'm fine. And what about you? I am tired. I have been practicing soccer and I have to wake up for a club daily and take a shower. Uh, oh. By the way, do you like practice any sport? Yes, uh, I like practice. Uh, soccer, basketball, tennis, football, and activities, I go run. And, and you? What about you? Uh, do, you do you like practice a sport or activity? Yes, I like to practice soccer, but what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is soccer, definitely. I, I like it. And how often do you practice this uh, sport? I practice soccer. Sorry, I cannot hear you. How often do you practice sport? I practice soccer. sport uh, every week. And you? Okay, um, well. I like to play soccer daily after to go running and before to play my video game with my brother and father. I like to play basket three times a week on Monday and Wednesday and Friday. I like to play tennis weekly and I like to play ping pong twice a month. Hey, what sport activity would you like to practice? Oh, it's interested you you do a lot of sport yes are you yes. A, a, a tired person yeah uh, so more or less a tire in what uh, sport activity would you like to practice i would like uh, to practice volleyball uh, the university 
maybe I, I would like to practice basketball. And you, do uh, you like? If, for me, I like to go swimming because it's one of the best activities to be healthy. And only that, uh, I have a question. Do you like to listen to music? Yes, I do. And you? Yes. Uh, what is your favorite genre of music? My favorite is um, rap. And what about you? Really, I like to. My favorite <laughs> genre is rap music. I love it. Uh, because it made me feel really good. And I remember that I listened to music when I was a little baby, around one year or less. Uh, what is your favorite singer? Oh, interesting. Uh, my favorite is um, Sekan. <laughs> what about you? Oh, my favorite singer is Bombi by Texas. Oh, really? Yes. It's, it's my, yes. first, my, my first time I... I hear you about her about it. Oh yeah, uh, but my what is your favorite song? I don't have the the exactly song. I like all all this all the song. Oh really? And for what me, about your favorite song? For me, my favorite singer is Bombi, but my favorite song is Nigo in Beverly Hills by Tyga. It's my favorite song. Oh, it's interesting. It's a, a English singer. Yes, Taiga. He, it was born in California, Cockton, California. Oh, amazing. But by the way, uh, do you like uh, watching movies? Yes, I do. Uh, my favorite genre of movie are two action and comedy movies because this kind of movie are exciting, amazing, interesting, and too famous with actors like uh, Hugh Reeves, uh, Denzel Washington, Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler, and uh, all the actors are my favorite. Uh, but what is your favorite actor? Uh, my favorite actor is Taylor Nauruner. He he was um he was in the movie The Twilight Saga. I love I love the the, the movies The Twilight Saga. Thanks. <laughs> All right, okay. very interesting. I can see very sport people in this team. So Christina, yes, you yes. do you love sports? Yes, the church. Yes. yes, yes, I love. I consider. A uh, healthy person. Yes, yeah, she is, and you are too. Very good. Okay, excellent job, guys. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue. You see, guys, this evaluation is a piece of cake. Okay, the next person will be Alba. Alba Marisol, are you there? Yes, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Okay, Alba, your classmate will be Elisa. Elisa, are you there? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, girls, just let me write your names. Give me one second. Okay, so Elisa and Alba, pretty good. Remember, when we finish, we are going to continue with the class, everyone. Okay, girls, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, Alba. How is your day going? Very well. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, hey, um, let's get to know better each other. Tell me, what is your favorite movie gender? Um, my favorite gender of movie uh, are action movies. Really? It is great. I love action movies too. But uh, my favorite gender of movies 
actually is comedy movies. I feel great when I see comedy movies. Okay. And what is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is um, um, Another Day is Another Day to Kill. Uh, it's the Keanu Reeves. Oh, I didn't watch it, that movie. Um, what, it, what it is about? It's a movie very um, touchy and sensitive in the first part, but in the second part is uh, very dangerous and bloody. It's very okay. good. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you have uh, a favorite movie? Oh, yes. My favorite movie is Legally Blonde. It's a comedy movie about a uh, very funny and louder. I love that movie. I love the actress. I feel great when I, when I see this movie. And do you have a favorite actor or actress yes uh my favorite actors are the channel reads and um i don't remember uh, the name but it's pirates uh, it's the actor uh, uh, of pirates of caribbean um johnny deep yes <laughs> yes and uh, how about uh, uh, my music? Uh, what is your favorite uh, kind of music? Oh, my favorite kind of music is pop music. I love Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and Shakira too. And what is your favorite song? Oh, my favorite song is Anthologia by Shakira. Yes. Did you listen like, uh, this song? I like Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> That's but great. My favorite uh, singer is Ed Sheeran and Adele. Those are very great artists. Yes. And what's your favorite song? Uh, my favorite song is um, I See Fire of Ed Sheeran. Okay, that's a good one. And do you have a least favorite kind of music? Um, not really. Uh, I play a, on a and then <laughs> listen and listen yes uh, how about a uh, do you play a sport yes i play volleyball and tennis i love and uh, these sports and you do you uh, practice any sports uh to be honest i don't play any sport but I try to uh, go to uh, walking or running uh, every week. Those are good exercises. In my case, I, I like to do exercise, but it's hard for me. Eat healthy. Uh, I love sweet bread and I only eat vegetables like twice a week. So do I. And for you, it's easy. <laughs> time's it's up. Easy. Time's up. Time's up. Yeah. All right, girls. Good job. Thank you. Very good. Thank okay, you. okay. You are talking a lot. That's what I need, everyone. I need you to provide details. That's great. Okay, let's continue. The next people will be... Can you see the box, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, the next people will be... 
Rebecca Esther, are you ready, Rebecca? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, Rebecca, your classmate will be Irene. Irene, are you ready? Yes, go. Excellent. Very good. Okay, girls, let me write your names. One second. So we got Irene. And ta -ta 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 -ta, Rebecca. Okay, girls, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, good morning, Annie. Hi, good Hello. morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Thanks for asking me. And you? Uh, that's good. Uh, to be honest, I feel a little tired because okay. I have to work all day. But I am good. <laughs> Thank ah, you for that. Great, great. great. Okay, tell me, Rene. Uh, do you like uh, um, do you like uh, music or uh, uh, the different movies? Tell me. Yes, to be honest, I like to listen music and specific uh pop rock. Uh, for example, uh, Green Day and Coldplay. I love all the songs of Coldplay and especially uh, Yellow. Uh, that's, um, that song I love. And mm -hmm. to be honest, uh, I listen to music when I clean in my house because I think it's necessary. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But I oh, yeah. Do. In, in my case, the different uh, bands, the Coldplay for me is super, super nice. Um, maybe um, the other bands, these, um, um, uh, let me see. Okay, it's new in English, but uh, I listen uh, to the Panda Band. Do you know Panda Band? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my favorite uh, genre uh, really is uh, electronic music and oh, so I, I like Kumbia. Yeah. It's, it's the same. It's the same uh, too because I like to uh, listen to music when I clean in my house or uh, when. I drive in, in the traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, when when you drive, uh, you need to listen to music. <laughs> it's yeah. <necessary> too. <laughs> yeah, it's very important. <laughs> yeah, uh, in a special, uh, when the traffic is very heavy, uh, for the time uh, six o'clock or five o'clock, Oh, PM. Mm, it's super yeah, it's heavy. Very yeah, yeah. Hey, tell me, tell me, Rani, uh, do you practice uh, any sport? Uh, yes, I practice a sport. I like to do exercise and I like to play soccer. Um, for example, in my free time, I always go to play soccer with my friends. And maybe uh, two hours and wow. sometimes in a week uh, for a night I go to the gym. Wow. But tell me, do you like some sport or do you practice some sport? Wow, it's your name. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't either practice a uh, any sport uh, because uh, I draw, I, I work in, in all day, but um, two um, two twice a week, um, I walk or running uh, nice or yeah, nice my, my home, but 
the other, mm, no, I don't time, but I would like to practice uh, soccer and baseball. I, I, I would like to practice, yeah. Oh, swimming, swimming is very distracting, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's necessary um, because uh, you can get out your stress. Um, but tell me, uh, what kind of food do you like? Do you like pizza, for example? Oh, yeah. Yes, I like to pizza, but um, I eat the pizza. Um, to try some monthly because um, it's a it's a little uh, bad for me but i like it and the other food i like me is time uh, stop taco. time <laughs> stop sorry okay very good girls oh, thank wow. you <laughs> all right wow I like it, guys. Uh, in this moment, Irene was trying to use the phrases of agreement, so good for you. Remember, guys, okay. I'm evaluating vocabulary too. Some people are not using those phrases. I understand when you don't have things in common, but if you have things in common with your classmates, use the expressions, please. Let's continue. Um, I think I have less people to pass. The next one will be Marvin Alexander. Marvin, are you there? Yes. Excellent. Your classmate will be Karen. Karen, are you there? Karen Vasquez? You there? Hello. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Okay, just let me write your names. Give me one second. So we got Marvin and Karen. All right. Okay, guys, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Hello, Karen. How are Hello. you? Hello, Marvin. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, Karen, I speak with you. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, okay. tell, tell me. me, what is your favorite movie? Well, um, to be honest, Marvin, um, I like all kind of movies, genre or, of movies. And a specific, I don't have a favorite movie. I am a big fan of series. It doesn't matter what kind of stream, uh, that I can watch it, perhaps Netflix or Disney or, or um, Amazon. Uh, it doesn't matter. The thing is, I am a big fan of series instead of movies. Okay, I understand. Uh, in my opinion, I like the movies. Uh, I have fun uh, of movies. For example, uh, I watch different movies on, on cinema or at cinema because I like visit the, the cinema. Uh, for example, the last movie I watched uh, was The, the Prash. Uh, and yes, I like this movie. Uh, in my opinion, my favorite movie uh, is Titanic. I don't know, Titanic. I, I like the Titanic. Okay, yes, it's a movie sensitive, romantic, tragic, but I don't know, I, I like this movie. Um, so do I. I like that movie. It's very interesting. The drama is really sad. I, I yeah. know. Yeah, the romance is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, um, tell me, uh, you practice? Do you practice a sport? Yes. Um, well, um, I go running uh, and jogging three times a week. Um, just on. Monday on Wednesday and Friday and Tuesday and uh, Thursday I do my own exercise routine at home lifting weight yeah and also on Friday I go to play football soccer at night with my team player uh, uh, 
So, so, so do I. In my case, I practice sport uh, every every Friday with my my brother yeah. because I play soccer with uh, his friends uh, every every Friday, and I visit to Colasso uh, and I like, uh, play soccer. Yeah, how often do you spend playing football soccer? Uh, Every every Friday. Yeah, but uh, uh, how how many times? Ah. Yeah. Uh, how many times do you spend? Uh, I play two or one hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it's it's big, but I like. Yeah, I can see. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and also, uh, I practice uh, play video. I play video game in my, in yeah. my house. <laughs> It's better, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's different, but I play. <laughs> and, yeah. And it, me, and what, what, what is your favorite music genre? Well, um, Marvin, it's the same with the movies. Uh, I like all kind of, uh, almost all kind of music, um, pop music, rock music. Uh, I like uh, different bands like a uh, Coldplay. Um, I like uh, different singers too, like uh, Pink, Adele, uh, Britney Spears. There are a lot of singers I like too much to listen to music, um, but um, I don't have a favorite. Um, I don't like reggaeton. What uh, about you? Yeah, uh, so I, I, I don't like the, the reggaeton. I, I don't know. I prefer the romantic music because I consider to to romantic person. I think <laughs> I don't know, but in my opinion, the romantic music is the the best. Uh, I can see it's a good combination uh, with romantic music, romantic movie. I can see you are very uh, romantic yes. boy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, and to opinion, what is the the worst music or the worst music genre? As a, as that I mentioned before, um, reggaeton. I don't yeah. like the lyrics. I don't like the singers. Do you like the music, Bad Bunny? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I'm, Time's I'm up. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. You spoke a lot. Very good job. Excellent. Now let's continue. Well, in my list, I have Javier is missing. Yes. I'm here. Okay. So I have Felix and I have Javier. So I don't know if Felix is there. Hello, Felix. Are you there? Yes. Good morning. I'm here. All right. Are you ready for the exam? Uh, I think so. Okay, let me write your names, guys. So we got Javier and we have Felix. Give me one second. Okay, boys, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Hello, Felix. Good morning. How do you feel today? Hey, great. Uh, just at first, it's, it's important. Uh, tell you I'm driving right now but don't worry I'm trying to uh, speak with you uh, okay second important thing uh, I want to tell you is I dislike talk uh, about me but I will try it okay okay be careful um uh, in my case I need I need to get out of stress when I feel a lot of stress I like to mute I like listening to music do you like listening to music? Uh, yes, just like uh, the, the kind of general I like to listen to is uh, rap, uh, rock, uh, sometimes romantic music, also uh, bachata. I don't know. It's a mix. And, and you? What kind? Okay. Okay. In my case, um, I listen to music in, is an exit for my routine. I love to listen music, for example, soul, jazz, rock, classic, 
why not the leader Bruno Mars or Michael Jackson are great singer and you? Uh, what about uh, your type of music do you prefer? Uh, I think I told you, I, I prefer listening to rap music, uh, rock music, also uh, bachata, romantic music, salsa. Uh, I have a question uh, for you. I have a question for you, yeah, my yes, friend. Phone, phone. Do you do you prefer phone. Spotify or YouTube? Uh, I don't have a Spotify, but so I have. Okay, I think that you are breaking up, Felix. Um, can you repeat your answer? Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear okay, you. Yes. Uh, yes, I have a, a little problem with my um, audiphonos. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yes, I don't have a Spotify, but I just have a, just YouTube. So I prefer YouTube. Okay. Uh, so do I. I prefer YouTube because has a genre uh, of music, is cheaper, and, and not subscription needed. Um, what do you think about movies, my friend? Do you prefer Netflix or cine, or cinema? Sorry. Um, I prefer uh, Netflix. It's because about the time. I, I mean, I don't have time to, to for go to the cinema, but uh, the cinema is better that a... Uh, the Netflix, you know, uh, for the space, uh, the screen, uh, the the weather in the cinema is better. That that's if you stay in your house, right? And what about you? What do you prefer? Okay, so do I. Uh, I think Netflix has different kind of movie. It's more comfortable and also it's more cheaper. But when I have opportunity to assist a premiere of the cinema, it's very nice, it's different. You can, uh, you can enjoy it or you can spend time with your family. It's different to yes. watch Netflix. Uh, are, are you when, watching a, a, a series or movie now on um, Netflix? Yeah, for example, the Squid Game is very Which? nice, a Squid Game. And also, Vikingos is very nice. Uh, that's all. Yeah, I oh, prefer yeah. to I prefer to I watch, watch I prefer to watch YouTube, for example, YouTubers and video on English music. I prefer to watch. Uh, tell me. Oh, uh, uh, tell me. Uh, do you do you have or do you practice? Uh, no, do you practice any sport? Yeah, uh, I practice sport. For example, is very interesting the opening the Juegos Centroamericanos is very nice with Mar with Mar Marshmello. He's my favorite DJ in the world. But I like uh, practice soccer and basketball. I think so is necessary for your health. What do you think? Right. How, how often do you practice a uh, uh, sport? Uh, in my case, I don't have time because I work all day. But uh, when I have opportunity to practice soccer, I like, uh, I, sorry, I practice only Friday for around two hours with my friends. And you? Okay, in my case, uh, I do oh. exercise. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to the gym every day six or five times by a week. Also, I do kimboxi. I like do kimboxi. Kimboxi is, uh, is the best sport, but it's a little dangerous, you know? Uh, but I try, no, I go uh, four times a week uh, do kimboxing. Time's up. All right, time's up. Wow, guy, you spoke a lot too. You see, next time, I think I will give you 10 minutes, guys. Five minutes <laughs> is not enough. 
Okay. I need more time. I need more time. Coach. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Okay, everybody, in my list, I think that everybody already passed, but is there anyone who hasn't taken the exam or is everybody done? This is the last day, so is anyone else missing? Someone didn't take the exam yet? No? Are you sure? Okay, well guys, officially we have finished the first speaking evaluation. How do you feel? Uh-huh. Feeling good. <laughs> good coach. You feel like, oof, yes, finally it's over. No, but free. listen. Yeah. Uh, I'm free. Right. I'm free. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's be honest. Did you feel this exam easy or difficult? So what do you think? Easy. Easy? easy. 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 But, but the nervous. Yes. <laughs> nervous. Yes. That's something that affects sometimes, right? Yeah. But listen, so far so good. You are doing great, everyone. Now, I just want you to see that you are having conversations in English. Right? I mean, we didn't plan the questions. You didn't know exactly what your classmate will ask. So you have a real conversation. Now you are talking in English, okay? So uh, I'm going to try to send the feedback as soon as possible, but be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna do it today because, uh, well, I have to work and I don't have free time, okay? So um, I'm going to try to check them to give the score as soon as possible, but yeah, honestly, I don't think I could do it today. Maybe tomorrow, all right? Uh, okay, any question, everybody, about the exam? Yes, no? No, teacher, no. Okay, pretty good. Now, guys, if you don't have any question, it's time to move on. We are going to continue talking. Let's continue with the class. And let me share the presentation. Okay, let's see. Okay, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Excellent. See. Okay, so today is July 4th. What is happening in the United States today? Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. And how about in El Salvador? When do we celebrate Independence Day? In September. In September. On September? 15. 15th. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's continue, guys. We are going to talk about something different today. Um, do you want to travel? Everyone? Yes. Do you yes. like to travel? Yes. 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 So, okay, today we are going to travel. All right. And I will give you the chance to pick the destiny. Okay, everyone, where do you want to go? Um, you can pick a city or you can pick a country. I don't know, I have different countries here. Where do you want to go? Look, I have cities like New York, London, Rio de Janeiro, Tokyo. Buenos Aires, Tokyo. Do you want to go to Tokyo, everyone? Yes, I will. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go to Tokyo. Because we have virtual classes, we are going to have a virtual trip, but let's go to Tokyo. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. look at this. Do you like Tokyo so far? Yeah. Yes. I what I What can you see? What can you see in Tokyo? A lot of cars. A lot of cars. Okay, look at look at the streets. Look at the streets. What is the characteristics of the streets? It's clean. Uh huh. Like in El Salvador, right? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so the city looks very clean. Mm -hmm. A lot of cars. What else? Uh, what? It is a similar in Skycraper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, look, it is not so clean. Look at this. So, <laughs> it's a similar in Salvador. A little. Yeah, right. It's a little bit weird, but anyway. Okay, look at the, this is basically the space where people can walk. So the sidewalk is wide or narrow? It's wide. It's wide. very wide. Yeah. Do you wide. consider that the city is old or is modern? It's old. Modern. It's modern. Yeah. Okay, do you think that is, it looks dangerous or safe? Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Is there, well, are there a lot of people here? Yes. yes. No. Not much. Not much, right? I mean, 50-50. How about the traffic? Yes. No. Not no. Really. Traffic. <laughs> no, no. Not, not as in El Salvador, <laughs> right? And look no, at the, no. look at the buildings. Can you describe the buildings? The buildings are high high in windows. Are high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are very high. And uh, it looks expensive, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you like Tokyo? Yes. yes. No. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's go back. Let's pick another country where or, or a city. We have different options. Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is a little bit closer. So, are you ready? Yes. Do you yes. have Do you have your passport ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, can, what, what can you see here? Can you describe this place? Other language. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me, tell me. Look at the streets. What can you tell me about the streets? What can you tell me about the buildings? Are they new or? The streets are clean. The streets are clean. Mm -hmm. The buildings look a little uh, modern. Okay. And I think mm -hmm. I think are all. Some of them. Thing. Some of them look pretty old. Are there a lot of cars? Uh, not really. Uh, not really, not right? Much. Yes, a lot of people. Okay. So when the people are walking, we can say pedestrians. Okay, pedestrians. Okay, in the chat, some people are asking if this is a live video. Not really, <laughs> no worry. I will send you the link if you want to watch this website. So look at these neighborhoods. Are they safe or what do you think? It's dangerous. <laughs> it, it looks a little dangerous, right? I mean, mm, <laughs> be careful over here. So look at some buildings. Actually, they look some old, right? Oh, oh. With a, there are some graffitis. Yes, look. So that's a a sign, right? That maybe is not so it's safe. Not safe. Uh huh. The street. Does the street look? Um, old or new? Old. So basically, we can say that this city, comparing to Tokyo, is not so new, right? Maybe this city is a little bit old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you ready? Do you like Rio de Janeiro? <laughs> no, 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 not so much. Maybe. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I have more cities. London, Paris. Paris. London. 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 Where, where, 
Okay, yes. hold on, hold on. Let's go to London. Okay, let's see what happens in London. What can you see here? Bicycles. A lot of bicycles. Safe. It and looks safe, but how about, ah, that is important. So there are a lot of trees. So what's the weather like? It's cold. It's cold. cold. It's fresh. fresh. Mm, not it's cold, cold, right? Maybe I fresh. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Yes, because there are a lot of trees. Um, is it clean or dirty? It's yes. clean. clean. Yes, clean. Uh, can you see a lot of pedestrians here? Yes. No. no. Not really, right? So it is not crowded. Mm -hmm. What else? What else can you see here? Is this city new or old? It's a little, it's it's a little, little old. old. I think it's and old graffiti. It looks pretty old, right? Not so modern. Hmm. <laughs> Look, there is a lake. Uh, what's the wa what's the the water? Is it clean? Yeah. Do you think? Mm, yeah. Maybe. Looks clean. Clean. <laughs> Look at the sky. Look at the sky. What is the weather like? Cloudy. Cloudy. Mm, cloudy. Mm, actually, it's more like sunny, right? So what about this city? Do you think that this city looks boring or exciting? Exciting. 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 Dangerous. You think? <laughs> Dangerous, you think? <laughs> Depends what are you looking for. It's rich. Ah. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. Do you think that it's expensive it's or cheap? Lane. To go here. Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> okay. So, do you like London? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. We have time for the last one. So, uh, well, let me show you more cities. Uh huh. Toronto. Paris. 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 You <laughs> okay, you are giving me a lot of cities. Moscow. Paris. <laughs> Paris, but I cannot see Paris here. Where is it? Uh, San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, Berlin. Oh, we got Paris. I found it. <laughs> okay, do you want to go to Paris? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, let's go to Paris then. Okay. All right. What is the weather like in Paris? <laughs> the weather, the weather. Fresh. Yeah, fresh. fresh. I think it's cold. cold. Okay, fresh cold. or cold? Cold. 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 Fresh. It's fresh. 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 Has, um, A lot of people are wearing like code so look there are a lot of police officers over here so what do you think that mm. means that is dangerous or that it's is dangerous. safe it's dangerous <laughs> it's safe right is it clean or so dirty? maybe it's dangerous dirty. Dirty. Uh, dirty. is it is it sunny no 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 no, no. no it's cold it's cold and cloudy. Um, how about the buildings and the streets? Is this city mm. old or modern? Oh, I'm sorry, modern. Old. Old. The buildings, the buildings look pretty old. old. Yeah, right? Old. Yes. Okay. How about the, the trees? I mean, trees. yes, we have a lot of trees. Um, are there? Gardens. Yes, there are a lot of gardens. Hmm. Many what else? People. Many people. people. Okay. Um, no, is it noisy? People. Is it noisy? Let me let me play the audio. What do you think? Is it noisy or not? A little noisy. No, no, no. See, Maybe. comparing to Tokyo, Tokyo was pretty noisy, right? <laughs> yes. yes. But this one is kind of quiet, right? If you see 
few people, but they are not mm -hmm. speaking so loud. It's like uh, the San Salvador downtown, right? Very quiet. <laughs> no. No, right? In the traffic. Not really. <laughs> San Salvador is very nice. Ah, okay. So look at the buildings. Are they new? Uh, no, no. 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 I think no. Old. Old. they are old, right? So basically, this city is not so modern, at least this part of the city, right? So, did you like Paris? Yes. No, much. Yes. <laughs> yes. And some people okay. are like, I expect more, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, okay, because of the time, let's just stop there. This is a website, everybody. Uh, at the end of the class, I'm going to send it um, the link. And you can pick a city, you can pick a country, and you can have like a mini, uh, like, uh, like a tourist place, you can have a mini tour <laughs> over that city. It's not a live video, right? But actually it's pretty nice if you want to know some places. So why am I sharing this with you? Because today we are going to talk about places. Right, right. Exactly, we are going to learn how we can describe places the idea is to learn vocabulary okay when we are describing places there are different words that we can use can you see the presentation yes yes teacher Excellent. yes teacher okay here we got some uh, these are like the most common adjectives that we can use to describe places for example beautiful which of the cities that we visited are beautiful? Paris. Paris. London. London. Tokyo. Tokyo was beautiful. Yes, we could say that. How about Rio de Janeiro? Was it beautiful? Yes, it's beautiful. No. No. <laughs> no. Well, this is depends on each person, right? Something for me can be beautiful, but some for someone else, maybe it's not. Okay, bright. What is bright? Which of the cities that we visited were bright? Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Tokyo. Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro was bright. So remember that bright is with a lot of light. For example, if you remember London, I mean, no, Yes, London. London was well, very sunny time. and it was like bright. What is the opposite of bright? The opposite? Dark. Dark. Okay. okay. So, for example, right now in your room, is your room bright or is your room dark? It's bright. bright. Dark. Okay, some people can say no, it's dark. No, it's bright. Now, when I have a lot of people in one place, that place is crowded. crowded. The places that we visited, which one was crowded? Tokyo. Paris. Tokyo. Paris. Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah, right. Now, um, Let's see, let's see. We have the opposite of crowded is? Empty. Empty. Which cities were empty? London. London was uh -huh. pretty empty, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Then we have dirty. Dirty is the opposite of clean. Mm -hmm. Which city was dirty? Tokyo. 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 Well, Tokyo has like one space over yes. there, a little dirty, right? Rio de Janeiro had also some spaces a little dirty. Okay. 
the opposite Toyapanga. of Jerry <laughs> Toyapanga. Hey, unfortunately, we don't have El Salvador in those cities, man. Okay, the opposite of Jerry is neat. Mm -hmm. Neat, what is neat? It's it's totally clean. Uh -huh. Which city were totally neat? Paris and London. 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 Uh, okay, London. Paris was very neat. Is your city neat? No. 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 <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. That's what it said. Okay. Um, we can say also, if you want to say dirty, also um, there is a word related to dirty and it is messy. Messy means disorganized, a lot of trash, um, everything is just a disorder. Um, is there a city that you consider like messy city? What do you think? No. The ones that we visited? No, right? Those cities aren't messy. How about expensive? Which city was expensive? London, Paris, Tokyo. London, Paris. So London. London, Paris, and Tokyo, actually, they look expensive. The opposite for expensive? Cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Which city do you consider is cheap? Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro looks like cheap. Actually, guys, El Salvador is not expensive. cheap. El no. Salvador, yes, is very expensive. If you compare with other countries, I mean, if you ex if you compare El Salvador, it's very expensive because we use dollars, right? And if you travel to Colombia, for example, you will have more money because you have dollars and they pay with another coin. So El Salvador is expensive. A little messy, <laughs> but expensive. Now, large. What is large? Largo? Big. Mm -hmm. Which Big? cities do you Big. consider are large? Rio de Janeiro. Mm -hmm. Tokyo. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. The opposite Tokyo. for large? Tor. 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 Now we have modern. Which city looks modern? Tokyo. 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 Tokyo, right? Tokyo looked very modern. Yes. And which one is the opposite? Instead of modern, we can say old. old. Which one old. looked no. old? London. 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 Paris. Paris, Paris, right? Paris looked pretty old. I mean, neat, but old. Okay. Which city looked new? Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo, right? Yes, the building. Rio de Janeiro. Pretty new. Mm, Rio de Janeiro, do you think that was new? Well, no. some buildings, right? Some buildings looked very like new, but some others pretty old, actually. It's okay. 50 -50. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How about noisy? Which city was noisy? Tokyo. 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 <laughs> yes. The opposite. What is the opposite of noisy? Quiet. quiet. Which quiet. city quiet. was quiet? London. 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 Yes. Paris. Actually, Paris was pretty quiet too. Which city was spacious? London in Paris. Tokyo. London. London. Okay. Pretty good. And traditional. Well, actually, the cities that we visited, they didn't look very traditional. Which country or which city do you consider that could be traditional? Europe. 
Paris. Japan. Japan, Japan maybe. Yes. India. India could be some of cities in India can be very traditional. China. Okay. China. 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 Korea too. Some Korea. cities in Guatemala too. Imagine if you visit here in El Salvador, the magic towns. Those are traditional. Okay. Did you copy the adjectives, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yes. Excellent. Now, look at this picture. Describe the places using those adjectives. Oh, Coach, is old. I'm sorry. Can you, can you share the picture in the WhatsApp group? Uh, this one? Yep. Sure. I can send it, but after the class. <laughs> because if not, I have to stop sharing. But guys, if you take a screenshot, can anyone send it in the group, please? So this is old. What else? Oh. You see? Yeah. Uh, empty. Yeah. Yeah. A empty. little dirty. Mm -hmm. OK, Rocio already sent it. Thank you, Rocio. Very good. So the picture is already in the chat, guys. Thank you. It's a little messy. Empty. Yes, messy, empty. Traditional. Yeah, actually, it's pretty old, right? Okay. How about this one? It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Modern. It's messy. Expensive. Okay. Would you like? Would you like to go here? Yes. <laughs> For your next vacation, like. right? <laughs> okay, how about this one? It's noisy. <laughs> noisy. Crowded. Expensive. Crowded. Bright. Okay, bright. Spacious. All right, pretty good. Yeah. Modern. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about this? Mm, it's not very nice. <laughs> it's not San Salvador. Come on. Like a protest. <laughs> it's congestion. Okay. So basically, this is like a messy, right? Messy, noisy. Is it bright? What do you think? Yes, it's bright. There are a it's lot dark. of lights, but we can say that it's, it's more dark. dark. Yeah, it's, it's darker than, than brighter. And now it's time for speaking. Now that we have the vocabulary, we are going to describe places, okay? I want you to think about your own city, okay? Think about your city. I know, guys, eh, I don't want it to sound so negative. Every city has its positive and negative aspect. So I want you to describe your neighborhood or your city, but try to think in both aspects, positive and negative. And the idea is to use the vocabulary. For example, eh, my city is not so famous. Actually, my city it is not famous, but it's clean and it's beauty. It's quite boring. So my city is not so exciting because it's, it's traditional, okay? It's not noisy, so that's good. So it's not noisy as some other cities as San Salvador that is pretty noisy. My city is not. It's pretty quiet. Um, however, in my city, houses are extremely expensive. I don't know why, but here houses are very expensive. Mm, on the other hand, if you want to rent a house, renting is pretty cheap, okay? This is just an example. If you see, I'm explaining, I'm describing my neighborhood, the positive and also the negative aspects. Which adjectives did I use? What do you think? 
positive adjectives. Can you tell me the positive adjectives that I use? Clean, beautiful, clean, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, positive adjectives, the positive. Traditional. It's quiet. Traditional is not, not negative, not positive, right? So what about the negatives? Messy. It's boring. Boring. Noisy. Noisy. Expensive. Not famous. Expensive. Okay. So look, I use different adjectives to describe my city. I was describing the positive and the negative aspect. So that is exactly what you will do right now. You will talk to your classmates and talk about your city. Talk about the positive and the negative aspects. Try to use as many adjectives as possible. If you want to use another adjectives, do it. Okay? Give details. Understood? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Okay, the idea, guys, is that everybody talk. Okay, so if your classmate is not giving you enough detail, tell them, hey, tell me more, tell me more. The idea is to describe your city, but you can explain. First of all, you can say, okay, guys, I live in Santa Ana, for example. Let me tell you about my city. My city is, and you start describing it. Ready? Yes? Yes. Teacher. yes. yes. Pretty good. Can you speak in Spanish? No. Never no. Yes. Who, who says yes, pointless in the exam? My goodness. No Spanish, everyone. Zero, zero Spanish. Okay, let's go to the breakup rooms. Everybody, do your best. Describe your city. Give as many details as possible. Okay, let's go to work. Hello, Hello, girls. How are you? Hello. Okay, who wants to start? Me. Okay. Where do you live and how is your city? I live in uh, Margaritas. It, it was dangerous, but right now it is safe. Um, it's clean. It's a, a, a bigger city. It's a big city. It's a... a I think it's beautiful. It has a, a lot of parks and it's that's it. Okay, great. And um, in in which municipality uh is Las Margaritas? Yeah, Pango. Uh, okay. What about you, Elisa? Um, I live in San Marcos. Uh, actually, uh, my neighborhood is in front of a road, so it's very noisy, um, especially in the night. <laughs> Uh, but it's very clean and um, it's a small, uh, it's a small neighborhood and San Marcos City is very modern. It has a lot of, of stores and um, also is noisy as well. 
um, but I think it's beautiful. And how about you, um, Natalie? Well, <clears throat> I live in San Martin. Well, uh, two dollars on two point fifty dollars. It was what what cheap or what cheaper? What cheaper? Um, uh, yes, in, in my case, in my city, is is it is uh, expensive. <laughs> and you, in your case, okay. Um, uh, Jimmy, tell us, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, describe you your, your city. You live in Soyapango, right? Uh, no, I live in Ilopango. Okay. Uh, as far as I know, in my neighborhood, it's a very boring, and after that, it's an expensive place, and then it's a very dairy, and mm -hmm. depend the place, and consider something about my neighborhood is a very a lot of a lot of sound about my neighborhood because you listen to music <laughs> it is yeah. not my music yeah <laughs> and i hear something about him and it's a traditional place i live i live in lourdes and i consider my city is beautiful and is um some parts of the Lourdes is dirty, but the other part is clean because the neighborhoods uh, are friendly and also um the rent in in the city is expensive in in in. I live I live the part I live in the orders of the part is there are a lot of noise because I live in the in the in the downtown and I think uh, I like live in the orders. You live in London. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about you, Emerson? Where okay. do you Okay, I live in Nueva Granada, Usulután. Uh, my country, I don't know, uh, is not so large. It's really small. But uh, it's a little dirty. It's uh, very expensive. But it's traditional. It's many, it's noise because it's many cars. But the art is a little modern, it's a little messy, but it's good. And the neighbor is a little bit problematic, but it's not bad. Uh, it's empty. Uh, it's good for live, but it's difficult. But it's a cleaner. Mm, it's a little traditional because within the week, the the Sand Week, Santa Week. How do you say Semana Santa? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Holy <that>. Week. <laughs> Holy Week. <laughs> okay. Holy Week. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, is the celebrate uh, in my my neighborhood and. Um, let me see. Uh, for me, yes. is my sea is a beautiful place because in my street uh, there are uh, this a uh, cubo. Uh, this a uh, cubo is a bibliotheque. Uh, this is place uh, the recreative recreative place with. Yes. 
the family and the children yeah. is very happy for yeah. the old community. Okay. Mm, let me see. This is a little mother because uh, there are a big house. Yes. And the community is. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, near, near the different mall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little different mall. For example, the encuentro. Municipio or municipio? Uh huh. In Aguachapan. Uh, sería como um, en el centro. Spanish, yes. Spanish, not allowed. I think Again, she lives in district. Mm. We was talking about how to Spanish. say municipio. Aha, uh -huh. and how can I say municipio? I don't know. Municipio, municipio. Municipality. Okay. Ah. Uh, sure. <laughs> yes. But right now, uh, it's a district. Yes. Actually, I don't understand exactly what is going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if we are going to have municipalities or districts. I don't know, guys. But <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I, I don't get it. But I think that we mm -hmm. are going to have districts right now. No more municipalities. But municipalities until the president says officially that we have districts. Okay? Very yeah. good. Okay, did everybody already describe its city? Yes? yes. yes. We already do it. Great. Yes, we did. Excellent. And we do it great. Ah, I like that. But no more Spanish, please. Forgive us. <laughs> a little. All right, okay. But just for the municipalities. Because okay. of the time, guys, we don't have mm -hmm. more time. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Very Here. good. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for everybody. Some of your classmates are still in the breakout rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay, okay. All right, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Uh -huh. Did your classmate uh, describe his or her city? Yes. Yes. Did your classmate provide a lot of details? Yes. 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 Only in English, right? Yes. Of course. Ah, my goodness. <laughs> my gosh. All right. Listen, I know that there are some vocabulary that is like, how can I say this? I'm going to give you the link of the places that we were visiting, okay? okay. And listen, guys, your homework is, um, I just want you to open up the link. This is a website, okay? I just want you to open the link, pick a destination. It could be a city or country, whatever you want. Open it up and you have to start describing it. So imagine that ah, I will go to the United States. Okay, let's start looking at the city and try to describe everything you see. And if you suddenly find an adjective or a word that you don't know how to say it, what are you going to do? Uh -huh. We are going to ask to you. <laughs> but it's a homework I won't be there but there is someone that is going to be there is a very useful dictionary wow. okay? okay every single word that you don't know how to say it let's go to the dictionary that is the way that we are going to check more vocabulary so yes. imagine if you don't know how to say um, el centro de la ciudad. So I was listening to some of your classmates talking about it. So how can I say that? Dictionary. Downtown. Very good. Downtown. 
Look, I don't want you to use Google Translator because Google Translator is a robot, okay? They translate the words literally, but that is not always a good idea. I recommend sure. you to use a dictionary, yes? If we don't have a dictionary, you can recommend Okay, you are breaking up, a but link or, ah, yes, look, I, rec book? I recommend this dictionary is online. It was an app, but actually I think that the app is not longer available, unfortunately, but this is a dictionary online. The name is Lingue. This is actually my favorite dictionary. So here you write the word. For example, imagine I don't know how to say this one. Okay, I look up for the word and I will see here the, um, the adjective. I can listen to the pronunciation and I can see some examples of sentences using that word. If you scroll down, you will see more option. For example, how can I say más ridoso? <clears throat> so you can find here the, uh, the definition. If you continue scroll down, scroll down, you will see more sentences in English and the translation. Look about how we can use that word. So Lingue is one of my favorite dictionaries. So I highly recommend this one, okay? Sure, can you see it in, in the WhatsApp? Yes, I will send the link and I will send the link guys for um, the Maps Geyser. Actually, this website, it's a game. <laughs> the idea is that you can see, uh, for example, pick something and you have to guess where is it. It's a game, but you can use it as a description. Got it? Yes? Got it. Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, the idea is to learn more vocabulary, guys. So do your best. Okay, um, we don't have more time. Do you have any questions before leaving? Teacher. Yes? What is the limit for saying the uh, the homework? Um, this homework, guys, uh, is personal. Um, I don't asking, I'm not asking for an audio. I'm not asking you to send a description. No, this is a personal homework. It's just for fun, <laughs> okay? If you have free time, you can go to the website, look at the city and try to describe it, okay? Got it? Yes? Got it. Yes. Got it. Yes. Do you have any other question before leaving? No. Okay, what is a homework is the platform. So don't forget to work on the platform, guys. We are going to continue tomorrow, okay? So have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow, Happy everyone. Bye-bye, see you.